Um, so lessons learned. Uh, it's always, you know, we, we always experience uh, bobbles and uh, fumbles along the way, right? Uh, lessons learned for those aspiring podcasters, because uh, I, collectively, I know we've got a bunch of them. <laughs> so, what have you experienced that you could share with your with your uh, with your listeners and our listeners? Yeah, I think another thing that I did early on was, and this isn't really a lesson learned, mm-hmm. but it's a tip I can give all your listeners. I went back, I took a look at all of the reviews in the podcast space for a marketing podcast, business podcast, entrepreneur co- podcast. Right. This is a Tim Ferriss trick, by the way. I looked at all of the negative reviews of existing podcasts. This is before I started mine to find out what were the complaints? What did people not like about other podcasts that were out there? And then try to avoid making those mistakes. So, Tons of, and you've done a great job of this, right? Look at you. You're in a fancy studio with like nice mics. So like so many people complain about bad audio quality. Mm-hmm. And so that I knew that was kind of my ace in my pocket. Cause I have music production experience. I had a nice mic. I know how to like, I, like I know how mm-hmm. to do post-production. So like that was something I knew I was going to get. But like right. another thing that I saw in negative reviews was people didn't like shows that took too long to build up to like, the thing, the right. interview or like whatever it is, right. if the show is not positioned that way, right? So like if you're positioning your show as like an interview show and you're not setting it up and like getting people to expect something else coming before that, like you do the news and that's great. Right. People get, they get agitated and they, they, they get impatient, right? They're, I found like four to five minutes was too long for me, for my show mm-hmm. to to like do an intro or like whatever it was until we got to the actual interview. So mm-hmm. yep. I think you really need to do your research again, back to research into what are some of the things that people are not liking about existing podcasts. If you are starting a podcast, or if you're, you know, just underway or like thinking about starting one, it's a great, like it's already consumer research that's out there for you. 